This coverage at CES 2019 has been sponsored by MSI. Without them, I wouldn't be here to check out all of these new laptops. I'll start with perhaps the craziest, the MSI GT75 Titan, as a few of you were asking me to find out if there would be a new one at CES, and I can indeed report that there is. From what I can see on the spec sheet and visually, it looks the same as before, except now you've got up to NVIDIA RTX 2080 graphics inside the 8SG model, and that's the full 2080, not Max-Q, along with an i9 CPU. Based on my own previous review of the GT75, I think it's very well equipped to handle cooling, though this does result in it being quite thick, so it's not for everyone. MSI also have RTX versions of the GT63 Titan, although they didn't have one on display. It's similar, but in a 15-inch size compared to the 17-inch GT75. Next up, the GE series. The GE75 and GE63 models were on display at CES. We'll start with the GE63, as I've got more experience with it, having reviewed the Intel 7th and 8th gen models. This new GE63, again, looks basically the same visually. I think we're just getting the upgrade to the RTX graphics. This is still pretty crazy though, considering the previous GE63 came with 1070 graphics, while the 8SG config will be available with 2080, so I'm very interested to see how that goes in the future. The GE75 on the other hand looked very nice, I can only assume it was also similar to the previous GE75, but again now with RTX graphics, as I haven't been able to get one of those for review just yet. It's a similar story with the GL series, I don't have any personal experience with any yet. MSI mentioned in the presentation that the GL series are designed for mainstream gamers, which seems to be why it only has 2060 graphics. I say only because up till now everything else is also available with 2070 and 2080s too. But if Nvidia's claim about the RTX 2060 being similar in performance to a 1070 Ti is accurate then it should be a pretty solid option. Though of course, as always, we'll have to wait for third party testing to verify. The GF75 was also on display. From my understanding, it's the larger version of the GF63 that I recently reviewed, although no RTX graphics here. So we're looking at the same 1050 Ti Max-Q and 1050 that I noted in my GF63 coverage, just in a larger 17-inch size. We've also got the GS65, interestingly with up to 2080 Max-Q graphics. On my previous video, a lot of you asked me to find out if the motherboard was still reversed, and MSI have confirmed to me that this is indeed the case, although they have changed it in the new GS75, but more on that in a moment. I also asked about the cooling, and at the event was advised by MSI that the cooling was the same. However, after looking through the specs provided, it appeared to be listed as using Cooler Boost Trinity Plus, like the GS75, MSI's new cooling design. Again, more on that in a bit, so I'll need to confirm that, though it would make sense, I can only really see the 2080 Max-Q standing a chance with improved cooling. As you've probably noticed, most of these models are the same as what we've already had available, but with upgrades to NVIDIA RTX 20 series graphics. If you caught my live stream of MSI's event here at CES, you may have heard about the new 17-inch GS75. From the specs that I was given, it will be available in three models, the 8SG with RTX 2080 Max-Q graphics, 8SF with 2070 Max-Q graphics, and 8SE with RTX 2060 graphics. For the CPU, they noted up to 8th Gen i9, so the 8950HK. I presume there might also be an i7 model, but it doesn't appear to be fully specified yet. I'm very interested to test out how hot the i9 and 2080 Max-Q combination would get in such a thin build. These are top-end specs after all. MSI had their new cooler on display used in the GS75, known as Cooler Boost Trinity Plus. And compared to others I've seen, it looks pretty decent. We've got 7 heat pipes and 3 fans. Most gaming laptops I've tested typically have 2 fans, just for reference. And MSI also note this solution is capable of 45% higher air pressure. Another interesting point was that it also has room for 3 M.2 drives. I don't think I've ever seen that in a laptop of this size. The most you usually see is 2. The motherboard also isn't upside down as we saw with the GS65, their previous thin and light gaming laptop, so accessibility to perform these upgrades should be much easier for the regular user. Otherwise, the GS75 has a wider than normal touchpad, it's got Thunderbolt support, thin bezels, and 144Hz IPS level display. I'm very interested in trying it out. Although no pricing or release date was mentioned, MSI kept stressing that they'll be the first to market with 20 series laptops. 
so I can only assume that means the 29th of January, as per Nvidia's announcement, so hopefully all will be revealed soon enough. I've got more coverage of CES 2019 on the way, so if you're new to the channel, get subscribed so you don't miss any.